Carrying around 4,000 people, this cruise ship has been stranded in Hong Kong for days. After zipping through the South China Sea over the past weeks, the World Dream was put under lockdown in Hong Kong on February the 5th. Earlier, I talked to one of the passengers. Okay, Mr. Leung, how is the situation on the ship right now? I'm a bit worried because there are people who had fever and were sent to hospital. We don't know their medical examination results yet. We didn't know the problem when we boarded the ship. The ship came to Hong Kong at a time of social panic. A five-day strike by thousands of medical staff has just ended. They want all entry points with the Chinese mainland to be closed. I feel very disappointed. Because in our profession, as a medical uh, personnel, there is no uh, option to go on strike. Our first priority and the most important priority is the welfare of our patients. Now only three ports are open in Hong Kong after the government closed 11 of them, but many, including some medical personnel, are calling for a full closure. So if, let's say, the government should close all of the entry points, what will happen to Hong Kong? Hong Kong will become an isolated city, particularly if we close all control points, including at airports, and ban all entries, whether mainlanders or foreigners, that would invite foreign countries to ban us. Now everyone coming into Hong Kong through the Chinese mainland is forced to be quarantined for 14 days, with revived memories of the SARS outbreak that killed nearly 300 people in Hong Kong back in 2003. Local residents here are not taking any chances this time. Li Jianhua, CGTN, Hong Kong.